I'm Sarah. I'm here with... Hi, I'm Steve. Steve and Jeff. Hi. And we came back. <laughs> it came back. We came again. back. We didn't abandon you. No, nope. we're back again. Okay, fantastic. Um, we're actually so just here to look at some of Sarah's travel photos. Yes, yes, uh, lots of puffins. I saw, some, <laughs> I saw some puffins. I was very and happy. And maybe in Soul Frame we'll have a puffin. I think there. we have to oh, now. A giant corrupted now. one. Yeah, of course. <laughs> Ragey. No, we're no. actually here to talk about Soul Frame Preludes Five, which is coming out this week for Preludes players. Yes. Uh, so we got some updates on that to share with everyone. And another Q and A. I have less questions than last time, uh -oh. but is that um, because you've got less questions, or are you sparing us? <laughs> the the... Sparing. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, had a lot of editing to do last time. So. Um, yeah. So Jeff, what's coming in Soul Frame Preludes Five? Uh, we have a new melee type, uh, freshly named that I already forgot. Or an umber. Orin and Umber. Is it Orin and Umber? Because it's sword and board. But anyway, it's a sword and board mm -hmm. melee set. Um, Orin is the sword. Orin is the sword. Umber is the shield. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's coming. Uh, and you whip the shield. You can throw the shield. That's very cool. Um, Steve and I were just talking about weapons in there. We still will have a lot more things we want to explore with weapons, but uh, for now, there's a new melee set coming. Yay! And also, last time we talked about mockeries, which is coming in. Yes. Oh, yep. so. The creepers. Yep. <laughs> yep. Uh, <laughs> yeah, there were some animation jokes about them just kind of basically just wanting to hug you. Um, so just look out for that. Yep. Uh, the guy with the long tug who wants to hug you. I think you can find them in the glades right now. Yes. Is that the only spot? Yes. So, yeah. Use your spectral sight. There's, yes. a little, there's a little tip. And yeah. Encounters is uh, getting a big rework. We've kind of yeah, Scott and Hazel have been doing a ton of heavy lifting on the Encounter system, and it's actually really fun. We've been like, Steve and I are having a lot of fun playing it, yes. uh, running around the open world. Um, yeah, anything you want to elaborate on with how they kind of... It's yeah, kind of, it's sort of regional. Yeah. There's little zones as you move around. They're kind of like little tasks or sort of like, I wouldn't call them missions, but mm. little little mini quests like, oh, there's gruel seekers patrolling nearby. Go take them out. Uh, there's the, the polluters. And there's just a lot more things to do in the overworld now uh, that makes it feel a heck of a lot more alive. Yes. Uh, and it's kind of a, a big lift on the past encounters, which we felt like the stakes were a bit too low, mm -hmm. like destroying the cargo balloons and yes. that sort of stuff. Yeah. It was just like, yeah. it wasn't quite heroic enough. And so, yeah, I think, I think people will really enjoy this. Um, we also did some AI improvements. We had some questions about uh, Ravlin asked, are dogs getting a balanced take or am I just bad at fighting them? <laughs> oh, yeah. Um, so They're a little relentless right now. They are, yeah. yeah. In yeah. four. Yeah, in uh, five, they are kind of doing more of a hit and run and kind of mm -hmm. moving around the world, circling, circling yeah, to come back in. in. So they are a little bit less relentless. Uh, we're still working on the motion matching and animation for that, so you might see a little bit of jank, uh, little, little <laughs> jank here and yep. there amid, yep. amidst the rest of the jank. Yeah, the AI team's been doing really great though at patching that stuff up. Yes. So, yeah. So they definitely knew in Preludes Five they have uh, new kind of hit and run type behaviors, which I think are very cool. Um, but we haven't got yet to um, the perception system stuff. They're going to be able to sniff you out and that sort of thing. Yeah. Um, but they are. Yeah, undergoing lots of improvements. Okay, cool. I have more questions then. Just yeah, let's go. Let's right, get into it. Uh, Shield asks, will the bosses be harder in the future? It's a pretty general question. <laughs> 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 Shield has gotten good. Yeah, Shield yeah. Has gotten good, yes. Obviously, uh, we have lots. In yeah. The Yes. Bromius um, is currently in the work. We kind of put him on hold for a little bit for um, with Tenocon fast approaching, yes. but we have some shovels on the ground for him already, and um, Penny kind of already mandated that um, Bromius is going to be harder than Garen already, so that is the intention. Yes, yeah. and you will see a lot. Uh, it's been a very busy month on the AI behavior side with our logic graph system, so even Garen is a less uh, like stun locked. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So there's going to be a lot more improvements that way because, yeah, if you are kind of tanky and spammy right now, you can kind of exploit a lot of that stun locking. Uh, so mm -hmm. we anticipate even Garen should be a little harder this time, and yes, harder in the future for sure. Not crazy hard. Yeah. There'll be ranges. Yes. There'll be ranges. Yes. Yep. I like to hear it. <laughs> <laughs> um, Anathan Luminous asks, will there be fishing, gardening, or mining in the game? 
anything coming <laughs> for that? Uh, we haven't landed on anything specific yet. Um, we definitely want some kind of ex ambient, kind of exploratory um, things to keep the players busy that kind of bring the world to life and kind of, you know, draw you into the world to get invested in it, discover things about it. Um, we have little things planted with Orlick right now that we haven't really been able to kind of fully sink our teeth into yet. Um, but I think you can expect those type of things. Uh, we have a new ancestor in the works who could invite some of that collections, right? Yeah, Verminia. Uh, Verminia, yeah, about, yeah, yes, yeah, yes. Who will kind of allow you to customize yourself a bit better. I think we'll have a lot more kind of tasks outside of combat. Absolutely. That's one of the things yes, absolutely. that is um, not a problem with Preludes, but mm -hmm. getting the com core combat means that we are not yet working on the other ways of advancement, because that's one of our principles, is it's not just all about Very combat much. in order to advance in the game. I would say the only thing I would say on those resource collection stuff is like, for Soul Frame, I hope the flavor of those things is a little bit different than in other games, which tend to be mm -hmm. more how the Ode would see the world of Alka, which is mine and exploit it and cut everything down. Yes. And our envoys, I think, are a little bit more about restoration and that sort of thing. So that'll be threading the needle about those kind of key tasks and reinterpreting them. Nice. We actually got a question from Howell that said, will our actions as players be reflected in the world as a specific example? Will we see Madras rivers clear up if we disable the, the sludge beers? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yes. Do you think that's something that would... That's been a goal for it a has... very long time, yes. hasn't it? it has. We have not gone to it. No. I think, I think we just have to kind of find the time and the right way to do it. It's tough in a multiplayer game. You know, how to kind of find meaningful ways to do that. Um, I think that's the challenge we have right now. Cool. Certainly, I think of uh, a game, Okami, if you remember that one, was beautiful and yeah. had that restoration uh, yeah. aspect, and that's a big inspiration for me personally. So, yeah. yes. We had Shy and Banana ask, would Soul Frame have. <laughs> <laughs> yep, Shy and Banana, yep. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. <laughs> would Soul Frame have Captura mode? Very I think we have to. Yeah. Players. I think Would we, we have, have something to. similar yes. kind of style one day. Yeah, I think especially we will definitely have a photo mode. Absolutely. Yeah. yeah. Okay. I think especially like you uh, liking to brag about the graphic updates that you put into the game and the lighting updates um, and the effort we put into cosmetics, of course, and character customization. We really want to, you know, have players kind of enjoy that. Yeah. Nice. Um, you touched on this. Yes. Merle, what does the current timeline look on adding in uh, bear and packs for Orangal and bear? So, mm -hmm. Bromius after Tenocon will be yes. in the timeline for Bromius. Any more Wolf Wen answers? Still in the works. Yeah. If people remember our announcement trailer um, where you kind of rescue Orangal from chains. We're working that cinematic into kind of a quest of how you can uh, find Orangal in the world. Um, and that will kind of give you access to the pact. And then, yeah, just the same problem we mentioned last time about the mount is just making sure the world expansion fits, you know, kind of. They also asked, why can't I pet the Ob doggies? Because they're scary. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe we need uh, some kind of tame option. We in the future, might, right? Uh, you yeah. know? Get them out of the own. Or then you take the cone off their head? Yes, yeah. exactly. <laughs> maybe that's, maybe that's yeah. what's making them mad. <laughs> <laughs> yep. I think next month, though, we are working on getting the Orangal packed, like game design wise, advancing that yes, as well. Definitely. But of course, a big focus on TenoCon, our intro quest, and yep. player customization are kind of the big ticket items oh, that we're well, working Sven on. Sven asked, what's next? Tease? Oh, oh yes, yes, yes okay. Well, well, obviously, <laughs> tune in uh, to TenoCon, which is only in a few weeks, oh, yeah. sadly. Okay. <laughs> like a little bit more time to work on it. Yep. Um, yep, sign up, sign up at soulframe.com, obviously, to get a chance to get into Preludes. But if you don't, tune into TenoCon. We're live noon, I think. Yeah, 12 to 1 p.m. EST. Yes. We're doing our first Soulframe dev stream, if you missed that announcement. Yep. Um, awesome. Yep. So, tune in. And it's probably next time you'll see us, so. That's true. Yeah, yeah. yeah. next time you see us. All Great. right. Yep. See you there. Okay. Bye. Thanks, Thanks for watching.